Hello, my name is Clint Halstead. I'm, I'm going to do a tutorial on solder masks and cream masks in Eagle CAD. How to uh, generate them, how to change them, and uh, also what they are. So, here we have a board that uh, we have designed and we had it built and you'll notice that one of the parts does not have a solder stop. So if you look at the T stop, that's top stop. That's the, the layer with the slash lines through it, the diagonal lines. We sent our files to the board shop, Pentalogix in this case, and uh, they were nice enough to tell us that we had one part that did not have a solder stop over it. So what the solder stop does is basically they put a, a some type of a finish like a lacquer finish, a spray uh, on the board. I don't really know what it's made out of but it's a clear coat. Um, and everywhere where there's these diagonal lines they, they make a template to stop the spray so it does not obviously cover your pad. You don't want that on your pad. But that will keep the, the, the um, copper traces from oxidizing. It also um, provides a, a little barrier, a little bit of a, a wall here to prevent your solder from bridging over uh, when you're soldering, during the soldering process. So it provides two functions. So that's what the, the stop, some people call the stop mask. Uh, a solder, solder stop or a solder mask. So those are in Eagle CAD it's called, again it's called the uh, T stop on the top and then you have the bottom stop for the bottom components. <clears throat> so what I want to do here is for this component I would like to generate a stop mask. So, the first thing I need to do is turn on my origins. The origins tell you where you can right click on the part and get information about the part. So I'll go to properties and this tells me the library and the package name for my part. So I need to go to the part uh, direct directory and then uh, edit the part. So. What I'm going, what I have to do is I have to bring up the control panel, go to File, Open, Library. Then I have to browse to that directory. I have to find that library, open it. Then I have to click on Package because I want to edit the package. This is the symbol. This is the device. And uh, there's some good Eagle CAD tutorials on the Eagle CAD website about uh, how to edit libraries so I'll let you go to those videos for that tutorial uh, that's on the Eagle CAD website under let's see here Eagle CAD I'm sorry it's actually CAD soft CAD soft USA and you go to training and then go to videos and then there's a lot of videos on here you have third party some really good third party videos um, then you have some you have some tutorials on how to edit the libraries so go on here and look around library management you look at library editor uh, you have several other, you have some advanced videos on how to create libraries, editing libraries. So that's a good place to go. So what we're going to do is edit that part. <clears throat> now before we edit that part, I will go over really quickly uh, this website I found which you may want to go to, sterntech.com blog. This says that the Eagle Cat has a neat feature for automatically generating the solder and cream masks for SMD pads. Um, it has some information. Solder mask is used to protect the copper from oxidation, just what I just said. Cream mask is used to define a region 
or automated application of solder paste. So before we actually do that editing, I will go over really quickly what is the solder paste. Um, so solder paste is solder little balls of solder in a in a flux type material, um, and you can see the tiny little balls of solder. And then usually you you put it's it's in a paste form. You can put that over the pads and then you can place your components on top and then put it through a reflow oven that gets uh, to the proper temperature to melt the solder and then your components after it cools down will all be soldered to your board and you won't have to manually solder them. That's the way the the manufacturing um, assembly houses uh, assemble the boards and it goes through inspection. And uh, the solder paste comes in tubes, it has to be refrigerated um, it costs like 15 bucks for a small tube you can get from DigiKey or some other place. Um, also, what's done next is <clears throat> you make a stencil. In order to make the stencil, the stencil is what you put over the board and then you, you dab the cream. In this case, uh, if you don't have a if you don't have a professional way to do it, then you have to manually do it using a, a knife, some type of a uh, painting knife to get the solder paste in, the, in between the stencil holes. But what you need <coughs> in order to generate these uh, openings, you need a mask and it's called the cream mask. So and that cream mask is going to be smaller than the solder mask. So the, the cream mask is just going to expose the, the pads. And then you'll squeegee, I guess, you will, if you will, uh, the solder paste into these holes and then it'll get onto your board. You, of course, you put the board underneath this. And then uh, you lift it off. And um, that is how you assemble the parts or how they do it at least in a professional assembly house and um, if you're trying to do this and you have a complicated board it's, it's also a nice way to do it. So what you need it actually is a DXF file usually for your laser. I have a friend that has a laser and he's able to I can export it to a DXF file into AutoCAD, and then he can uh, use he can use his laser. He can import that into his laser, and then he can create a stencil for me. <clears throat> and you can see that um, we're actually going to use acrylic, but professional board houses use aluminum as a stencil material, and you have to have a very high power laser to do that in aluminum. But we're going to try to use acrylic, and you can see an example of that here. So that's what we're going to do. That's the goal. So before we do all of that good stuff, we need to <clears throat> make sure that we add the solder mask for this accelerometer component. So what we're going to do, we've already opened the library. So now we're going to go to the actual package. The package was ADKL so ADKL 16 pin so I can open the actual package and if you see here if I click on the layers I'm going to turn off everything and just look at the T-stop. Okay, T-stop. So you can see that there's actually nothing <coughs> over the, the pads. There's no solder stop. Okay, so that's what we need to change. EagleCAD makes this really easy. You can go to Properties and just click Stop and Apply. And there you have it. It's that simple. I'm going to go up here and change my grid to 1 mil and turn on the dots 
and you can see that the solder stop has been generated about four mils and so we're going to have to do that for each one. There's also a way to change this uh, really easily in Eagle Cat as well. You go to design rules and you go to masks and then you can change that solder stop overlap. So if you want to do two mils you can change it to two and apply it and you can see that everything changes. But then now I get some design rule errors. So actually I'm going to go back in and leave it four like it was before. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at four. I just wanted to let you know how you change it. If you would like to change it. So now I'm going to make that change for each one, but I'm not going to do it now in this video. Also, we can look at the top cream layer. You can see that there's zero clearance on that. And if we go back to the board, of course you can you can change that as well in the design rules. Go to design rules. Sorry if I clicked that too fast, but this is the design rule button to click. You click that and then you can go to masks on the top tab and then the cream you have the stop and you have the cream so if I wanted to make that two I could but I don't think there's any reason to I would just make it a zero tolerance on that one so anyway I believe that is everything you need to know I just need to make sure to do this for for all of my accelerometer components and I will do that and save it and then of course you have to in your board you have to go to library update and you have to click on that library to update it and once you do that it will um, update the part so just as an example I'm going to save that and then go to my actual board design and then go library update I'll update this one library and um, you can see that <coughs> this part has been rotated so you can see that the solder stop is on that one pad where it should be so thanks very much again this is Clint Halstead and this was a tutorial on how to generate solder masks and cream masks in Eagle CAD version 6.2 and how to change them, how to ed edit them in the library. Thanks.